Hey everybody, welcome to the lecture on sections 1.4 and 1.5. We got a lot of cool stuff lined up for today. So let's begin with section 1.4. Section 1.4 is on rewriting formulas and equations. In essence, what we're doing in this section is trying to get one letter by itself and have it in terms of other letters. For example, let's say I had following equation. Solve for y if 2x minus 5y equals 10. So what you want to do is get y by itself. But the answer is going to be a little strange because you expect y to equal a number. Instead, y is going to equal an expression. Here's how we do it. Negative 5y is equal to negative 2x plus 10. y will equal negative 2x plus 10 over negative 5. And that's it. We're all done because we already got y by itself. So that's one way you can do it. Let's try another example. Let's say you're asked to do the following. Solve the formula P equals 2L plus 2W four W and then find the width. when L equals 12 meters and P equals 41 meters. Okay. So, changing the colors here. Let's go to red again. So you want to get W by itself. So P minus 2L is going to equal 2W. W is going to equal P minus 2L over 2. Very, very simple. But remember, there's more we're being asked here. You're asked to find the width when L equals 12 and P equals 41. So we put in 41 for P, 12 for L, work it out, you get 41 minus 24 over 2, which equals 17 halves, or 8.5. If it was a decimal fraction, uh, I'm not going to really care too much, but do put the units because we are talking about meters. Pretty simple, right? Um, I think that might be it. Actually, I lied. Let's do one more. For number three, so let's try this one here. I'm going to put a different set of instructions, but it'll still be the same thing. If 2y equals 6 minus xy.
solve for y in terms of x. Some people get confused by what in terms of mean. Basically, just get y by itself. That's it. Should be pretty simple. So, we want to combine like terms and see how there's two terms that contain y in them. Notice I move the xy from right to left. Factor out the y. Kind of a slightly crafty technique. One of the challenge problems we did during block number two this week involves something kind of like that. So y equals 6 over 2 plus x. And at this point, we're good with that problem. Um, by the way, we have 6 over 2 plus x. Could I say that? And say the answer is 3 over 1 plus x? Is that okay? No way. Absolutely not. If you do that, you're actually disobeying the order of operations. That's a huge fundamental error. So this cannot be done. Do not cross off the 6 and 2 like I just did. That's very, very bad form. We'll talk about this in class on Friday. Okay, so I think now we can move on to 1.5. We cover kind of the essentials for 1.4. Uh, 1.5 is about problem solving strategies and models. So we'll look at a word problem, work it out, and of course we'll do some word problems when we're in class on Friday. So section 1.5, which is about problem solving. So what I'll do is I'll actually will type up the word problem. That might be a good way for us to go here. So here's the example. You are hanging four banners in a gymnasium. There we go. Um, each banner is 62 feet, no, that'd be weird, 8 feet long, and the wall is 62 feet long. If there has to be an equal amount of space in between each banner, how far apart must they be placed? Um, also, the space between the wall and the banners, or the ends of the wall, must be the same as the spacing in between each banner. Okay. So, here's what I would do. Draw a picture. Step one. Always good to be able to visualize the problem. So here is the wall, here is a banner, here is a banner, here is a banner, there is a banner. Spacing is equivalent for each one. Each of these are 8, 8, 8, 8. And the whole thing is going to be 62. All right. So hopefully you can see how to create the equation. That's going to be step two. So 
Step two is create an equation, which would be 5x plus 32 equals 62. Notice why I'm saying 32. Because if you think about it, you have 8, 8, 8, 8. And we have 5x's, and the whole thing's 62. So now I can work it out. 5x, uh, I still got the highlighter on. That's okay, though. Equals 30. X equals 6. So not too bad. So it's, the separation will be 6 feet for the banners. So that's obviously... Step three is solve, sorry about that, solve the equation. So that's basically what we do for these kind of word problems. Sometimes um, you may not be able to draw a picture. So maybe a verbal model could be good. So instead of drawing a picture, you could write a verbal model. That might help too, but that should always be your first step to be able to conceptualize a word problem, create an equation, which is usually the hardest part, but the model should help in aiding the equation like it did here, then actually solve it. Um, we'll do lots of these as a class. Uh, on Friday, so I'm not going to do any more word problems. So, try to stay true to my word. About a 15 minute video. So we're all done. Please answer the questions that come after the video. I'll be checking Google Docs later tonight to make sure you actually watched it. And I uh, hope all of you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.